Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. That's awesome. I think that it was just instinct that I grabbed the backpacks above our heads and threw them on the kids and then I just laid on them because, I mean, I've lived majority of my life. They're five and six. They haven't lived their life. So I just wanted to protect them. I didn't care about anything else. I just wanted to protect them. When we looked up and there was nothing left and there were cars on top of us and around us and in our rooms, there were no walls. Mm -hmm. You're just thankful to to just be there, mm -hmm. and that the kids under you were okay. Yeah. Those babies mean the world to us. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to rebuild right now, uh, trying to get our fire fire department, you know, put back together, uh, trucks, training. Uh, also, the other other departments we're working with right now, having training sessions with them, so in case in the future there's something else like this that happens. Uh, also, there's other departments in the state, say like Houston. Uh, we saw the brotherhood in it, and we've done been to other memorials for other firemen that's uh, that's perished, but uh, it's been pretty devastating here lately. It's amazing the people that have shown up with everything for us and um, people all over the world have been donating stuff to rebuild our classroom because we lost everything. Um, it's been amazing people from you know England are donating books so our kids can read and they're donating money so we can buy supplies and you know they're just helping out more than I can even imagine. May 20th like she said took our classrooms and um, our vehicles um, we lost both of ours in that one, and then a week and a half later, the May 31st tornado came through, and what tornado goes south, but it hit my house. And uh, But again, my neighbors, friends, have come to our help. My family brought me down here since I didn't have a way. And just er the outpouring of love and generosity from the community in general has just been very heartfelt and overwhelming. One of my real good friends that died in that fire uh, was one of the best fans to NASCAR and to racing. Uh, Cody, they were here every year. Uh, they loved watching racing. Uh, so right now I'm out there for him waving that flag and uh, for all the victims of West that are fans and there's a lot of fans to racing there in West. Uh, so I'm not just waving it for me, but I'm waving it for him and all the other victims of West. All the reaching out, you know, you're just, I mean, at first you're overwhelmed because you don't know what to think with everything they're offering and, you know, you don't know where you're going to be next year, so you don't know what you need or don't need, but I mean, it's just overwhelmed I guess. I mean I'm, I'm very thankful I'm alive and I'm thankful to do things like this but I mean it's just it's a lot because I don't see myself as a hero and I don't see you know I think the kids are the true hero of the day and they mm -hmm. should be the ones who are getting all the love and attention. I agree with Jennifer 
is that there were a lot of heroes that day. Mm -hmm. Those people that came out of their homes and didn't care what they lost and they came and they helped us get out. Mm -hmm. they, they pulled bricks off of us, they pulled cars off of us, mm -hmm. they, they pulled the children out and they never once thought of themselves. Mm -hmm. They were, they were, those are your heroes. Mm -hmm. We did what we had to do yeah. and we were going to protect our babies mm -hmm. and our kids and, and anyone else and my five-year-old is actually in Miss Simon's class mm -hmm. and was there under me and she grabbed half of them and I grabbed the other half and, and you know so I know I'm, I'm also a parent and, and I knew what it was like to have your child under that. This is great. Everybody's been so wonderful and the inv invitation down here to just let us get away yeah. from things for a day or so and mm -hmm. I just can't thank them enough.